Got a Sega Rally board, dated 29th of the 7th, 23. Hi Jeff, this is a Sega Rally board in full operation there. That black bar is my monitor refreshing. So there's the, the board. The um, serial number ends in 12185T. And there's the top layer. And there's uh, the board running. It's got good sound. Let's put a credit in it. Let's wait for the board to start up. Five seconds to go before it switches. I've just got it running through a um, test generator at the moment. The power supply over there. Audio board. Okay, just waiting for the car to select. Because I've got no controls, I can't select the actual car. So six seconds to go. Then we'll put it in memory test. I'll show you what memory looks like. Two seconds to go. And goes the car into the racetrack. Three, two, one, go! Music's playing. So I'm going to push this um, test button right here. And then I'm going to go into memory test which will just test the memory of the board. That's the most important thing, because that will tell you if there's any failures on the board. It will come out good so far. Yeah, noisy street outside today. Anyway, yeah, good so far. It'll do a rug test in a minute, which should be like a square pattern test, which checks all the RAMs as well as the ROMs. There we go. And that will tell us if there's any faults on the board uh, with any of the ROMs or EPROMs or any of the layers that are on the board itself. It's still doing its rug test. And as you can see, everything is marked good. So I push the test button again, which is this one here. And just, uh, so I push the test, memory test. But anyway, that's the Sega Rally board. I push the memory test again, so you gotta wait for that to come through. Okay, bye mate.